On Valentine's Day 2005, we launched the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute with a very generous gift from Neil Bloom. He saw that a lot of patients were leaving Chicago to go to some of the big centers that we all know in the Midwest, and he thought that we should build something in Chicago so people didn't have to leave. When I came here, I talked to the team and I said, anybody that we want to hire has to meet a couple of criteria. They have to be excellent technical surgeons, they have to be good doctors, capability of being world leaders, but uh, more than anything else, they have to be good people. This is definitely a learning culture. It's a place that wants to get better. Greatness is not something that we can just put as a goal on the wall and we automatically get there. We have to re-examine everything that we do on a daily basis. That requires a lot of humility, and I think people here tend to be humble in that way. We, we can look at ourselves in the mirror and say we have a lot to learn as good as we are. Dr. Chris Malazri has been here now for well over 10 years. Chris has great results with some of the most complex aortic procedures. Another example of a great talent is Dr. Melissa Medina. She's joined our team and is doing really complex work with aortic dissections. Dr. Jane Wilcox, she led our heart failure section. She's now the Associate Chief of cardiology. Another great talent we have is Dr. Stephen Chu. Stephen was one of our residents and we're really happy to retain him here, but not until we sent him off to Oxford and he became an expert in pulmonary hypertension. The physicians across the institute who contribute to our daily care and the, the investment of the leadership, people like Clyde Yancey and Charlie Davidson, who are daily collaborators in patient care, but also we meet weekly to talk about where BCVI is going. And so this is a very integrated effort. Over the 20 years, we've developed a lot of areas that we were particularly successful in, such as valve surgery, transcatheter valves, surgery for atrial fibrillation, concomitant, and it's led to a huge amount of growth, 900% over 20 years. Recently, we started to invest in uh, the Center for Artificial Intelligence. There's papers that are in press looking at some of our earliest work using AI in cardiac surgery. Northwestern Medicine is always about being at the cutting edge. Uh, and offering patients the very latest and best treatments. It's really exciting to offer a robotic option for patients who are good candidates and who want an enhanced recovery uh, both in the hospital and at home, uh, who can really get the same world-class uh, mitral valve and atrial fibrillation treatments that they've been getting at uh, the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute at Northwestern Medicine for years, but now they have an option to have that through a minimally invasive approach. One of the really nice things about the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute is our tight, close collaboration with our colleagues in cardiology and in particular the structural valve team. Uh, so we frequently collaborate on these tricky patients and, and work to decide what is the best treatment option, whether that's a transcatheter procedure, enrollment in a clinical trial, um, a traditional operation or a robotic uh, valve operation. It is very much a patient-centric approach and that has required us to re-examine everything about how we do business, starting from what is it like as a patient to get a new diagnosis of heart disease? Um, what do you want? First thing is information. And so we have to be able to provide that very quickly and give them access to that. Second is knowing what's going to happen in my life in the next few months to years, often planning around clinic visits or diagnostic tests or procedures. We've tried to make that as seamless as possible and have someone guide the patient through that. So that's the origin of the FAST program which we've developed here, which is essentially a way to get patients in contact with an expert nurse coordinator who can guide them through the process as early as possible in their care journey and to let them have their care where they are. I was a uh, fellow here in training when the, they started the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute to see from the ground up the mission that was set forth back then 20 years ago with you know, the goal of making Northwestern a, a premier center for cardiac surgery and cardiology care, to become innovators in the field and then also to be a, a main training center for the next generation of, of physicians. There's a, about 100 or plus clinical trials that we are involved in across the board from valve surgeries to transcatheter therapy. But what's even more amazing is that fast forward 10 years to now, and not only is that mission still there, but the goal is not only just to be one of the best centers in the country, but to be the best center in the country. The first 20 years were to honor Neil Bloom's idea that he didn't want people to have to leave Chicago to get great heart care. And we did that and then beyond because already we're a destination. More and more people will be coming here and we're seeing that regularly all the time. As long as we stick to our paradigm of hiring great talent, giving them the resources they need, 
they're going to get great outcomes that's going to lead to continued growing reputation and volume. And our growth rate in the last couple of years has been exceptional. We've grown around 40%. People are coming to see us because we have this very patient-centered approach. We try to make their care process as easy as possible. We offer the complete spectrum of cardiac procedures and diagnostics, and our outcomes are excellent. We want to be a center of excellence, obviously, within our four walls, but I'm very proud of the fact that we, I think, are becoming nationally recognized as a center of excellence for how care should be delivered and these processes of care that are going to drive the next 10 or 20 years of cardiovascular disease.